Come in. Uh, mail that for me, will you, son? Yeah, one, senor. Thank you. Oh, wait, wait a minute. There you are. Thank you, senor. Thank you. People knock before entering a room. Police. You took some pictures this morning. That's right. Why were you taking pictures in an unauthorized area? I was only taking a picture of a house that I consider to be very attractive, the Casa Juarez. That's not a good enough reason, Mr. Strait. It is if you're interested in Spanish architecture. Oh, please, don't let's have any excuses. You're a very important man, but you're not that important. Where's the film? Well, you see, it was a little overexposed. Uh, so I burned it. Overexposed, then. Mm, that's right. But I thought you were an uh, expert photographer. We can all make mistakes, Lieutenant. Just as you're doing now. Hey, mind the equipment. Senorita, you are next. Thank you. You wish to go to my country, Senorita? No. I want to make an inquiry about a friend of mine. An Englishman? No, an American. His name is Michael Strait. He's a photographer. I cannot help you. But at least you can tell me why he's being treated like a criminal. He hasn't done anything. And there is nothing for you to worry about, is there? But surely you can't hold him indefinitely. We can, and we will. Next, please. to get an American friend out of jail? I was at the consulate just now. Well, what can you do? I give you the name of my boss. He can get anything out of anywhere. How much? That's up to him. But for the name and address, I charge $5. Or well, maybe your friend is not worth $5. Carlos Varela, import-export merchant. I'd like to help you very much indeed, Miss McFarlane. You're an extremely attractive young lady. 
In fact, I'd like to do it out of the goodness of my heart. But I'm certain to incur a few expenses. I'm a businessman, you understand, don't you? Mr. Strait is not rich. Neither is he poor, shall we say $5,000. The amount being kept so low, especially for you, Miss McFarlane. 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 Now, would you like to encourage me with the down payment, say $1,000? Yes, but I haven't got that much money with me. Oh, your IOU will be more than good enough. I trust the British, implicitly. Now, where was Mr. Strait staying? Hotel Nacional. If you come here, keep your hands clean. Mike, what does that mean? It's an American expression. It means keep out of trouble. Well, good for Mike. It's very fortunate that you came to me, Miss McFarlane. I happen to have very influential friends in the new regime. Business friends at a very high level. And it so happens that I'm leaving for a visit to them this afternoon. By air? Dear me, no, much too dangerous. I always travel with my merchandise on my ship. Come and see it. There she is, the last one. Not as big as the Queen Mary, but nearly as fast. Like it? Mm-hmm. Good boat? Barlow. Here's my manifest. 12,000 rounds of 303 ammunition, miscellaneous photographic equipment, 200 spare parts for army trucks, 300 aqua lungs. What I want aqua lungs for? For the Navy. You have divers, don't you? Oh. 3,000 pairs of nylons. What are they for? My friends. Senor Varela. Oh, we can trust each other. Of course. <laughs> uh, by the way, officer, there's another thing. Uh, three other things, to be precise. Uh, my nieces from Dominica. Oh, they sing and play the guitar beautifully. You really should go and see them at the Flamingo Club. I'd rather see their passports. Ladies, give the authorities your passports as you go. Captain, you may unload the cargo. Excellency, it has always been a great pleasure to pay you my respects, but since you've achieved the exalted position of Minister of Commerce, responsible for any purchases, uh, I must confess, it's become even a greater pleasure. And you, my dear Carlos, you. it is always a pleasure to see you and do business to our mutual advantage. What have you brought this time? It's all down here. But first, a statement from your account in the bank in Miami, and a receipt from your Wall Street broker with the transactions of the last six months. Be careful what you say in this building. Splendid. Splendid. One must be ready for all eventualities. Of course, of course. Now, down to business. Mm -hmm. What is this uh, photographic equipment? I, I was able to buy it cheaply. It could be very useful to you. Why have you not put the price against it? I haven't had the chance to have it valued. I thought we might be able to do that here. Here? That is not like you, Carlos. Well, let me put all my cards on the table. We've done business together for a long time now. Can I continue to speak freely? Freely, yes, but not too loudly. This equipment is here for a purpose. I want to have it valued. And you have the man who's just right for the job. Michael Strait. I advise you to forget that name, my friend. That gentleman has committed an indiscretion which may well result in us having a fatal accident. Oh, sorry to hear that. Now, that is a disappointment, you see. Uh, these lenses are all American, and he's the one man here who'd give me an honest valuation. If I were not taking 25% of your profits, I should consider that an insulting remark. However, I know of another American who can do the job. A photographer? 
Someone with photographic experience, ah, This requires an expert, Minister. She is an expert. She? Mm -hmm. When will you be available? Tomorrow morning. Hotel Nacional. You usually stay at the Hotel Espanol. Ah, but you forget, Minister. I'm going up in the world these days. There's no point in earning good money if we can't enjoy the luxuries that go with it. Good day, sir. Senor. Buenas noches. You have a reservation? Yes, Carlos Varela. I cabled you. I asked for a room on the seventh floor. Huh. Si, si, senor. You sign your name there, please. Pleasure. Page 773. Good evening. Senor? Thank you. What's the gentleman in uniform doing here? There was an American in there, senor, but the police came and took him away. Is that so? Why is the guard still here, then? They search the room every day, senor. They even take up the floor. What are they looking for? Whatever it is, senor, they know fine. Thank you.
Room 777. All quiet, sir. Nothing to report. If you come here, keep your hands clean. Mike. Expecting me? Am I? I'm Lee Russell. Lee Russell. The minister sent me. You want some lenses valued? Ah yes, yes, of course. Come in, please. Well, how delightful! I never expected a photographic expert to be either young or beautiful. Sit down, please. Thanks. Care for some coffee? No, thank you. You're quite right. It's terrible. But if I may finish my breakfast, we'll talk about my lenses in a minute. You should try this butter. It's delicious. I imported it myself. Thanks. There we are. You're American. That's right. What are you doing here? I'm under open arrest. They think I'm a spy. Oh, I wouldn't worry too much about that. They think all Americans are spies. And I take it the minister has promised to release you after you've helped me, right? Yes. Provided you're dishonest and undervalue everything. That's right. That was a very foolish thing to admit, Miss Russell. I could be one of them. I don't think so. You're a very perceptive young woman. You've summed me up correctly. If I help you, will you help me? That depends on what you want me to do. I want you to be a good patriot. I don't think you'll find that very difficult. Did you like the butter? The first I've had for months. Good. Does the name Michael Strait mean anything to you? The photographer? Mm-hmm. He's being held in solitary confinement in the university building. You know what that means? Yes. He'd be lucky to come out alive. Are you willing to help him? Why should I? Patriotic reasons. He's an American, too. Is that why you're helping him? Oh, no. I'm doing it for the money. But I need assistance from someone I can trust implicitly. What do you want me to do? I want you to develop a film, a microfilm. Is that all? For the time being, yes. But I must warn you, if we are caught, the consequences will be unpleasant. Extremely unpleasant. You know what these people are like. Yes. But I'll risk it. Good. Have you a dark room? No, but we can use the one at the studio where I work. Let's go. That 
That's the Casa Juarez, isn't it? I think you're right. What's so interesting about that? Nothing. Except that it used to be the house of the Minister of Justice. What's it used for now? I don't know. But Michael Strait has thought it worthwhile to take a photograph. Go on, please. That's one of the upper windows. Can you enlarge it, please? Mm -hmm. It's not possible. Why, that's Arturo Zapata. The scientist? Yes. Don't be ridiculous. He's been dead 18 months. That's what the world thinks. No wonder Mr. Strait is in trouble. But his death was announced. He was here on holiday from the Argentine. There were pictures of his funeral. Sure. And of the coffin, only he wasn't in it, apparently. What do they want him for? His brains. They'll have figured a way to make him work for them, whether he likes to or not. If they know we've seen this film, we're as good as dead. Can you re-photograph it and put it back undeveloped on a roll of film? Yes, but it'll take two or three hours. I have to make another negative. All right, do it. I want it to be exactly as it was when I found it. Did you say three hours? Where are you going? I have a business, Miss Russell. I want it to look as if I'm running it. Besides, I might even make a little money. Ramon, I've told you not to play with the merchandise unless you wish to buy it. How much, senor? You like underwater swimming? Oh, yes, senor. <laughs> I like to try. All right. For you, $50. You can spread it out over 10 weeks at 5% interest. Fair enough? How long do these cylinders last? Two hours. See that I'm not disturbed. I've got something very important to look into. It's finished. Here you are. Perfect. Would you hold it? Hmm. Thank you. Not bad. Not bad. What shall I do with this? Destroy them. Forget they ever existed. And now I'm going to pay a visit to my friend, the minister. What about me? Be at my hotel tonight. I'm taking you out. What shall I wear? Put on your most attractive dress. So the invitation is for pleasure? Mm -mm. Business. I've decided to enter a partnership with Arturo Zapata. For lots of money, I suppose. Unfortunately, not this time. See you later. Thank you. Well, are you satisfied with our arrangement? I seem to have no alternative. But always cigars and sugar, Minister. Never money. Unfortunately, we are short of currency. But this time I've made certain that the cigars are of the finest quality. The kind I smoke myself. The best. I know. I sail on the full tide at dawn tomorrow. Adios. Adios. Until the next time. Uh, this man, Michael Strait. I've already warned you not to meddle in things which do not concern you. Uh, it's only that I happen to have come across a roll of film, Excellency. Wait. Sit down. Thank you. If you value your life, give it to me. Uh, really, Excellency, do you think I'd be so foolish as to carry it around with me? Oh, none of that. Surely we can trust one another. After all, I look after your bank account abroad, just in case you ever have to leave here in a hurry. Do you think I play games with you? Yes, and I can't take chances. This is too important. Search this man. Take off his clothes and examine the pockets, linings and seams. We are looking for a small roll of film. What a terribly unfriendly gesture, Minister. I assure you, you're wasting your time. I can never get my legs suntanned. Uh, you don't have to tear the linings. Just, just feel around the seams with your fingers, will you? Don't, don't crease the trousers, old boy. You do underestimate me, Minister. And you underestimate me, my friend. 
Uh, doctor, examine this man. We are looking for a roll of microfilm. Oh, no. Surely you don't think I've swallowed it? I'm very particular about the things I eat, Minister. I, I suppose you do have to find out, don't you? I presume one is not permitted to smoke while being medically examined. Doctor. I'm ticklish, Doctor. <laughs> May I go now, or shall we resume our business discussion? Sit down. Ah, there we are. What is your proposition? Don't waste too much time. There are other methods of making you talk, you know. Uh-uh. I anticipated that too, Excellency. You see, I disapprove of physical violence, especially when it's directed against me. Uh, should anything happen to me, or should I not leave this building in 23 minutes, the film will be handed over to the Swiss Embassy. They will develop it, no doubt. How much? Well, as you're so short of currency, I propose we make an exchange. Cigars? Dear me, no. No sugar. I will exchange the roll of film for Michael Strait. Yeah. Alive, of course. Out of the question. Goodbye, Excellency. How do you propose the exchange should be made? Well, that's better. I thought you'd come to trust me again eventually. You deliver straight to my ship, and I will remain behind. As soon as it's out of territorial waters, I'll give you the film. Fair enough? How do I know it will be the right film? By developing it, I presume. You know what you're looking for, I don't. But if it isn't? Then I will be at your disposal. But if it is, you must allow me to rejoin my ship immediately. How much are you getting for all this? $5,000. I'll give you 10000 Twice as much money, my friend. No. 20000 When I make a deal, I stand by it, Minister. I hope you'll do the same. You have done, though, up to now in our other business transactions. Very well, we'll make a deal. I will meet you at the dockside at sunrise tomorrow. You did say you were sailing at full tide, didn't you? And you will have Mr. Strait with you, won't you? Unless we find the film before then. <clears throat> It is fortunate for Mr. Strait, and indeed for yourself, that despite all our efforts to make him remember, he still doesn't appear to know what he photographed any more than you do. Excuse me, senor. My key, I believe. Thank you. Find anything? Joy to behold. You're being very gallant, Mr. Varela. I'm doing it for a purpose. We're being watched. What are we going to do? Go somewhere where we can make love in public. Make love? I want you to act as though you were crazy about me. For business reasons? Naturally. Well, I do. Promising. Very promising. How long do we have to keep this up? Aren't you enjoying it? What's more, we're going for a moonlight ride. Where to? Somewhere quiet and romantic. The kind of place lovers go to when they want to be alone. Are you sure this is strictly business? Nothing, but I'll admit it's a well-known rendezvous for lovers within half a mile of the Casa Juarez. Shall we go, darling? Good night. That's
Don't strain yourself yet. We have a good half hour to go, you know. I'm quite comfortable, thank you. Oh. Two hours. Should be enough. Permit me to kiss you, please. How long do you think this will go on for, huh? Who knows? Just watch, that's all. Put those headlamps down. Can't a man have a little privacy? Take no notice. It is about luck on him when he's doing so well. She's a very pretty girl. Is everything quite clear? Yes. Once the hood goes up, you're on your own. If I'm not back in two hours, it's unlikely you'll ever see me again. Perhaps you'd better kiss me again before you go. By all means. Make one sound and I'll kill you. Let me catch you again. 
All right, carry on. What is it? I've done nothing wrong. Why do you all spy on me? I've come to help you, Professor. It's all right. What do you mean? Everyone is always going to help me. I'm different. I'm an Argentinian like yourself. Go away, please. I've enough troubles. I've come to help you escape, Professor. It's too late. I've suffered enough. I prefer to stay here with my work. Don't you understand you're working against our country, against all the Americas? I'm working for humanity. Please leave me. I'm tired. Your family, don't you want to see them again? My family are safe. As long as I work here, they promised me that. They've been safe for the last 18 months. They went back to Buenos Aires after your so-called funeral. You tell me lies, like everyone else. This is the truth, Professor. I no longer know what the truth is. Professor, listen to me. Quiet, Professor, I'm coming. What is it now, Professor? Why am I always being worried? Why can't I work in peace? Nobody is worrying you, Professor. You're tired. Go to sleep, huh? Tell me. Are my family in Buenos Aires? No, they're not. They're here. And they'll be perfectly safe as long as you do as you're told. Now go to bed. I'll bring your breakfast at seven. is going flat. Run the engine. There's nothing to be afraid of. I'm going to take you back to your family. Do you want to see your family again? Yes. Who are you? I'm an Argentinian and your friend. You must do exactly as I tell you. Do you understand? Yes, perfectly. We must create a diversion. When I say go, lose your temper with me. Jump out of the car and run to that tree behind you. Remain always in the headlights until I join you. Is that clear? What shall I lose my temper about? Another woman, of course. Professor! Why do you get angry like this? You promised you'd never mention that woman's name again. Ah, it was a mistake. It slipped out. She means nothing to me. I don't believe you. It's a lie. You're always telling me lies. Get over to the bushes. To the bushes. Go. 
Keep the headlights on them all the time. I don't understand you. You know I love you. Did I not give you that beautiful watch? Well, take it back. Give it to her. Maybe she'll appreciate it more than me. All right. That's the way you feel about it. Goodbye. Good. I was afraid they were going to make it up. Then we would have been here all night. Shall we offer her a lift home? Our job's to watch him, not her. You're coming with me or are you walking home? Good work, baby. Are you all right, Professor? Yes, I think so. What is going to happen now? Well, in about 20 minutes, we'll drop this lady to her apartment. Meet me at the docks by my ship. You've earned yourself a free trip to Panama. But don't be too long. It'll be light soon. We must catch the full tide. What are we going to do with the Professor? You'll be surprised. A wasted evening for both of us, wasn't it? I am meeting the minister here in 15 minutes. If you should want me before, then I'll be inside. Don't catch cold now. Shall we follow? No. The warehouse was searched from floor to ceiling this afternoon. In any case, this is the only road out. Come along, Professor, come along. I'm afraid you have to start on another journey now. And an even greater discomfort. Do you think you can make it? Yes. If he takes me to my family. Have a good trip, Professor. Minister, you're very punctual. You've brought Mr. Strait with you, I trust? You have the film? I always keep my side of the bargain. If you haven't, I'm going to have you shot. Ah, Minister, you're always so violent. Minister, I'm afraid I have to ask for a small favor. Uh, this lady who valued my lenses, uh, <laughs> well, I hardly know how to put it, but uh, will I become greatly attracted to her? In spite of the fact that she grossly undervalued my photographic equipment. You wish me to allow her to join you on the ship? As a man of the world, I knew you'd appreciate my position. She shall be your reward if the film is genuine. Thank you. Watch it! Well, I hope that was an accident, Minister. There would be no point in us trying to kill each other at this stage of the transaction. Well, it's reassuring to hear you say so. You may go aboard now. The minister has given his permission. Not yet. She will remain with you until I have seen the film. But Mr. Strait can go aboard. That is our bargain. Now, give me the film. Certainly. The case will be a little nicotine stained, but I'm sure the film will be quite undamaged. Excellency. Let this develop at once. Pronto! This man is under arrest. See that he does not move. What happens if the picture doesn't show up on the negative I made? Well, in every operation, there's an element of luck. Sometimes it's on your side, sometimes not.
Ah, that's much better. I hope our luck is in our side now. If we're not on board ship in 50 minutes, I'll have a dead body on my hands. Everything to your satisfaction, Minister. You have kept your word, Barella. Now I will keep mine. You may go. Both of us? Certainly. She may be able to help us with some of our future transactions. And continue to undervalue my merchandise. You will be back next week? Certainly. And I hope our business relations will continue to be as amicable as always. Senor Barello, I've got a lot to thank you for. I require no thanks, Mr. Strait. You've paid adequately for my services. If you'll excuse me, now I have something urgent to look into. Pedro, Alvarez, open the way down to the hole, quickly. Come on, boy, come on. So where's he going? You've heard of Arturo Zapata. Heard of him? Why do you think I've been under arrest? Well, he's down there, nailed up in a cigar crate. Don't tell me he's in here. Yes, but I was negotiating your release. I found time to rescue my fellow countrymen. Well, that does it. Getting his picture's the reason I get involved in this whole situation. Here I am without a camera. Patience, Mr. Strait. I think of everything. But my cameras. With the compliments of the management. Senor, I would say that's above and beyond the call of duty. I'll send you the bill for the bribes. Oh, you've made it. How do you feel? Oxygen is most stimulating. Is he all right? Oh, he's fine. He's fine. Mr. Strait is just about to take his photograph. And I'd like a word with you. On business? No. Pleasure. With the mask, Professor, please. <laughs> 